Coronation Street spoilers, Pat fell and dead after Riley and Grimshaw showdown. Coronation Street fans were no doubt kept on the edge of their seats during tonight's double bill of the popular right TV soap as Eileen Grimshaw finally learned the truth about Pat Felon's murderous ways. Pat, played by Connor McIntyre, and Eileen, Sue Cleaver, were set for a deadly showdown in tonight's Coronation Street as the truth about his horrendous crimes finally came to light. Eileen received a phone call from close friend Tim Metcalf, Joe Duttine, who warned her to get as far away from Pat as possible. Unfortunately, Pat took Eileen's phone call and heard that two bodies have been discovered at the mill building site. Following the revelation, Eileen tried to act as normal as possible as she waited for the Weatherfield residents to rescue her. However, she lost her temper and lashed out at the builder for deceiving her which led to the pair ending in a tussle. As they fought with one another, the harbour railing gave way and Pat found himself in grave danger as he fell into the sea. Read our live Coronation Street blog as we follow tonight's events. 7.25 p.m. Fans of the ITV soap are very excited as they prepare for Pat's secrets to finally be revealed. Time for a bit of coy. Finally Felon's true colors are going to be revealed. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. Hash coy, comma one viewer shared. Another added, I am so excited about tonight's double bill of hash koi just a few seconds now. 7.35 pm, Pat Fallon looks set to try and make his escape after it is revealed that bodies have been found at the mill site. Eileen is not impressed when he reveals he plans to go fishing and he needs some space from her. 7.36 pm, back in Weatherfield, Adam Barlow is trying to help Gary Windas who has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Will Gary be able to convince the police that Pat is to blame for the murder of Luke Britton? 7.40 p.m., Eva Price is overcome with emotion after she feared that she had lost her unborn baby. 7.41 p.m., on the phone to Liz, Eileen reveals that Pat thinks he is crowding her and seeks advice from her friend. Eileen insists she isn't he going to give up on her husband just yet. 7.43 p.m., back at the police station, Gary is told that officers have found two bodies at the mill building site. 7.48 p.m., Pat is furious with Eileen when he realizes that she has followed him to her fishing boat. She can't understand why he is annoyed with her and demands to know why he constantly disappears. 7.49 p.m., all this time when everyone was accusing you of all sorts, I thought there was a decent man inside but all this time I was wrong, comma, Eileen screams as she threatens to leave Pat. 7.50 p.m., after cutting herself on a champagne bottle, Eileen reveals that she can tea drive home because the car keys fell into the sea. As she storms off. Pat realizes she is limping and demands to know what has happened putting his escape on hold. 7.52 p.m., Adam calls Tim to reveal that two bodies have been found at the mill building site and is urged to get in contact with Eileen. He fails to get in touch with Eileen but leaves a voicemail and promises to call the police and rescue her as soon as possible. 7.54 p.m., Eileen finally listens to Tim's message and learns the truth about her husband. As darkness falls on the coast, Eileen desperately tries to call Tim back but is unsuccessful. 7.57 p.m., will Eileen escape unharmed or is Pat about to commit his final murder? 8.32 p.m., Eileen finally manages to contact Tim but realizes that Pat has followed her and demands to know who is on the phone. 8.33 p.m., Liz is stunned when her son Steve reveals that the police have found bodies at the mill site. 8.34 p.m., Eileen is in trouble now as Pat throws her mobile phone away as he realizes she knows the truth about his murdering ways. Back in Weatherfield, a very worried Tim heads off to try and save the taxi cab office worker. 8.35 p.m., Eileen demands to know what Pat has done but he refuses to confess to his crimes, insisting that she has betrayed her. 8.36 p.m., 
Pat finally confesses to killing four people and Eileen is anxious to find out who he murdered. 8.39 p.m., the builder insists that he loves Eileen as he reveals he stopped her and son Todd from being murdered in the past. 8.41 p.m., Pat warns Eileen not to get too close to the edge as the iron railing is weak but she ignores him and angles the keys to his boat over the edge. 8.42 p.m., the soap villain threatens to kill his wife, explaining that the current will wash her body out to sea and she LL never been found. 8.43 p.m., after a short but intense struggle, Pat appears to have fallen to his death, leaving Eileen horrified. 8.48 p.m., in a shock turns of events, Pat has survived and begs Eileen to help him. Will she rescue her husband? 8.49 p.m., after taunting Eileen and insisting he knows where her son Todd, she stamps on his hands so he loses his grip and falls into the crashing waves below. 8.52 p.m., Tim arrives to find Eileen being wrapped up in a blanket as she reveals Pat has fallen into the sea. She insists she watched him go in and made sure he never got out. 8.55 p.m., Liz reassures Eileen that the residents of Weatherfield will believe that she was unaware of Pat's crimes but she remains unconvinced. She reveals that Pat watched Michael Rodwell die of a heart attack and murdered Luke Britton. 8.57 p.m., Liz apologizes to Eileen for not being by her side to help her see Pat's true colors before insisting she will support her back on the street. Eight. 